Good Wednesday morning, everyone. I hope you're having fun with us this week as we start our new season here on Inspiration for today. We had a talent show in September between the services of our, at our church. And just for fun, we're playing it because, you know, the joy of the Lord is our strength. Today's artist is Tina Morkvet. And you might recognize Tina. Tina has been a gate ambassador for numerous years. I Time goes by so fast, I'm thinking five years, but it could be double that. I don't know. I lose track. <laughs> Do you relate to that? Anyway, but the joy of the Lord shines through her. She became a follower of Christ during the Jesus Revolution in the 70s, as did I. And she tells some of that story. I find it fascinating. I hope you do. If you live through it, I know you do because it brings back such memories. I hope you saw the movie Jesus Revolution. God was really moving and at work in those. Oh, he always is. But that was such a special time. Tina wrote a song during that time. And she's not going to tell us about the Jesus Revolution years, but she's going to sing that song. And honestly, I loved it. I loved it. Listen to her words. I believe God truly gave them to Tina. And the next time you go through her gate, and I'm not sure which one she's working now, you say, I loved your song, Tina. All right. No more talking by me. Let's enjoy her performance. So this is a song that Tina herself has written. It's called Worthy Is the Lord. And certainly he is. Hi, my name is Tina, and my husband is Larry, he's the white-haired guy, and uh, I'll through so many of them. <laughs> uh, so I think there should be a picture here. Can you see it at all? Yeah. 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 Uh, when we were a young family in the 70s, so you can see a little bit in the pictures, uh, there were platform shoes, granny glasses, remember the granny glasses on the, my daughter up there, uh, Holly Hobby dresses, I think uh, our blonde daughter had a little house on the prairie dress, we had uh, platform shoes, we had polyester suits for the guys, and uh, so when we were a young family in the 70s and 80s, God brought us into the Jesus movement. So God was moving not just in California, but all over the United States. We are from Madison, Wisconsin, and so we moved here in 2008. Madison is a university town, and at that time, full of hippie students who had come to Christ, they would gather at various church sites in and around campus. They had like on campus they had what was called the press house, the Presbyterian students met, and the, the Lutheran Center, and the Catholic, uh, whatever, and so on and so forth. And the students would gather there and uh, with their guitars, bongo drums, and tambourines, sitting in a circle uh, on the floor, worshiping the Lord. We brought our young family and joined them. So we'd sit on the floor with those students. It was an exciting time. Maybe many of you were a part of it. The Jesus Freaks, as they were called, infiltrated the churches and started their own congregations. And of course, a lot of you probably have seen the movie The Jesus Revolution, yeah. which uh, features that. Part of what was going on at the time were many 
interdenominational prayer, praise, and worship meetings. There was much openness to the Holy Spirit and His presence. So the move of the Holy Spirit was going across the land. God does different things at different times. And that was a very exciting time. At that time, along with many others, I began writing songs. And uh, here's one I'd like to share with you. And what this features, the name of the title song is Worthy is the Lamb. And the scripture talks a lot about the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Uh, also in part of the uh, song, it refers to Jesus as the Son of Man. So Jesus called himself the Son of Man uh, different times. That was, I think, one of his favorite terms for himself. And uh, the main focus of the song is Worthy is the Lamb. We hear a lot of songs featuring Worthy is the Lamb. But mine isn't the same. Uh -huh. uh, so, uh, worthy is the lamb that was slain in Revelation. It talks about that he was slain from the foundation of the of the earth. So, we'll give this a try. Just to give uh, my apologies, I have two brothers that play professionally. I don't. <laughs> Worthy, worthy is the Lamb, the Lamb of God. Worthy, worthy is the Lamb, the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ, the Chosen One, the Son of God. Worthy is the Lamb. Holy Son of Man 